All right, I'm gonna get this one out quick because it's getting late. SBY is coming back to test this previous pivot. Uh, definitely see some deep, deep, deep retracement so far. Uh, one that I would be a little cautious. We're around the 78. We're blown through the 62 percent, which is something that usually I I try to. That's my maximum threshold to, to get, you know, to buy the dip. So we're deeper than that. And we got FOMC tomorrow, so don't let that stuff scare you out. Again, it's if you're in the short, that's fine. Um, if you're looking along, you don't just long because it reached a certain level. You want to see some type of, you know, higher low or something, or basically break above this these highs or something before you would get to the long side. So I'd be very cautious going into this price action because you can see that we, we talked about these pivots. It's holding so far, but it's very very close to violating the low of this one, which would be 92.35. The QQQ, uh, same thing. Getting to that level uh, that we kind of just want to say okay. Uh, at the end of the day, I just want to delete this. Okay. At the end of the day, we want to see, okay, we, we see it's coming down. And I don't know if this means that there's just weakness because it is not giving a lot of separation, but it's still heading down. So we have this pivot low that we have identified based on some weekly price action that we did uh, some work on before. Um, it's still not there, so you want to see if this pivot is just gonna, is going to hold, and it still hasn't broken above the high of this week. So, again, you still wouldn't have your buy signal if you were looking to buy the dip. It still hasn't given you at least a higher high uh, going into this this retracement so far. We have to see how this plays out. Again, it's only Tuesday, so this is going to be lighter volume. So we really, this candle is still open. We just have to see what happens uh, so far. The IWM is continuing to the downside. We saw a little bit of separation uh, from here. It was the last pivot to basically down here. So it broke these lows and continued to the downside. Uh, looking at the weekly, we can see that we have some price action uh, sideways price action, uh, but we still had to kind of respect these these lows so far, and it looks like it's actually breaking the most immediate one. Um, but we'll just play it by ear. Again, you can see that this is pretty much this level right here, obvious level. So we got to see if it's going to use that as support, or is it going to just break down more? But we do have these this lower high in place, so we have to say, okay, we have these lower highs in place currently and maybe you look for a breakdown and continue or you're already short from here which is fine either way again you manage your risk and you trade according to your plan apple um apple look at the daily still churning sideways we got netflix kind of gave a little pop and now is looking to the downside uh facebook uh, again, this one has been a hard one, even with the higher lows, to really get excited about because of just the way the price action behaved going up into it. It just never really gave much uh, regarding the dip. I mean, if it gave this dip and you bought it, you held for a long, long, long time. Uh, Google, again, this price action, again, this lower high and follow through is not good. Uh, to the downside with some high volume as well as so the volume increased the volume on the retracement came right back up to this obvious trend line broke down gave you the lower high from here and uh, looks like it can, it oops looks like it can continue to the downside so we'll see I don't have a measured move or anything like that uh, working out here so far but we'll see how this one plays out. But you see, again, you don't want to guess which side it's going to go. I mean, again, you back this up a couple, uh, you know, a couple days or a couple weeks, and you don't know where it's going to go. You say, shoot, this is how higher lows break up, but then gives it a little false breakout, traps some bulls in, and continues to give it. So again, that's why I like to use the higher low. And even if you say, shoot, it gave a higher low here. Well, guess what? If you got in here, and that's fine. Um, again, I would like to see it break up, come down, like how it broke down, came back into this triangle, and then broke down to the downside. That's more attractive to me than staying in this pendant and trying to 
basically guess where it is because if you did you got stopped up and again if you got stopped down as long as you identified your risk and you said listen I'm looking at these two higher lows again you can only trade the right side of the chart as long as you define that risk then that's fine you just got stopped out but again this is the reason why I again some people might say oh, I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive that's fine but with that you, you better manage your risk accordingly or you can really get uh, put in a bad place uh, Tesla Tesla actually held up pretty well today just down a dollar so again it could be be for some more um, upside for this one again this this still looks good the one I'm in looks like it might break down it's been sideways for a while so it looks like it's gonna break down I'll see what happens tomorrow uh, who else um, IBM IBM again given this price action you come back and again you don't really need moving averages to see this stuff but you see you have the lower highs in place but then you also got these this little angle that you have going on here so you say okay let's break it down let's look at the, the weekly you can say Shit, this is just some sloppy ass price action and I would trade something else so again if you were staring at it and you said okay and again these are very very tr simple trend lines um, you're staring at it and break down you could take the short but again it's not it hasn't really been moving that much um, and you kind of just kind of just go from there uh, Johnson & Johnson did break down uh, Aetna, which I talked about yesterday, continued to the downside um, from this huge engulfing pattern. It continued. Uh, we'll see how much, how much further it can go. Um, we also have uh, ExxonMobil, oops, ExxonMobil, uh, which looks like it could continue to the downside. This energy sector, which is XLE. Uh, still looks like it. I mean, this is great separation from it to have a nice little continuation pattern to the downside. Uh, just this one bar pullback, but it could continue to go to the downside as well. Again, you know, just kind of look at what the pure price action is. And again, I don't, <laughs> a friend that was teasing me today about moving averages and stuff saying, you know, I still use them even though you don't like them. It's not that I don't like them. I just, end up focusing more on them than the price action so it's it's more of a fault of mind versus saying one thing doesn't work versus the other I'm not that guy that's gonna say you know uh, what I do is the best and you shouldn't do it it's just you know just something to kind of think about uh, while you trade and you can see based on this you can see the separation that's put in place from this last pivot you know you had the continuation pattern that flushed down on high volume so again this this would be I would have preferred to have gotten in maybe on this continuation pattern or maybe on this one breaking down again I have other stuff I look at but you just want to be cautious either way uh, for this SBY again we do know that these levels are in place but we know that we're close to a pivot so the retracement is pretty deep almost 80 percent so we just have to kind of look and see in case FOMC is tomorrow let's see who wins and if you want to have to go in a position, you can go in lighter than usual because, again, we've still in kind of uh, is the bull going to get, you know, the bear going to push this, the bull back a little bit more. Or we're just looking at more of a bigger retracement and kind of go from there. So, again, keep your powder dry if you're in nothing because that's not a problem either. Because, again, we had a lot of violent candles going into this price action up, down, up, down and with with gaps, too. So it's gap down gap up gap down gap up then another gap down then it followed through and then you have this retracement uh, to the upside but you have to look at this volume I know a lot of people don't look at the volume and again you can look at option volume as well but this is the first thing I look at and you saw the volume decrease uh, to the upside so uh, be cautious all right take care